we are always seeking out medical professionals who are on the cutting edge of American medicine today. If you've ever been told that you look tired or sick due to dark circles or bags under your eyes, even after getting a good night's rest, there's a new laser procedure that could restore your youthful alert appearance once again. You know, I want to know what is, what is a festoon and then what's the difference between a festoon and just those under eye bags? I think it's a great question. So first of all, I'll say that, you know, as we age, there's changes that happen to our faces, right? Mm -hmm. And what's not fair, I think, is sometimes that we can look tired when we're not tired. And a lot of that has to do with the area around the eyes. You know, when we see each other, our brain sort of scans the other person's face and we look at each other's sort of eyes and mouth. We go back and forth in between those areas. Those are the two most powerful parts of the face for nonverbal communication. Around the eye area, as we age, we can have puffiness appear underneath the eyes, and those are the lower eyelid bags. And then sometimes on the cheek region, we can see a swelling on the cheek, and those are, those are called festoons. Lower eyelid bags are really due to more age-related um, conditions. Sometimes um, in certain families, it can show up earlier. Uh, festoons are really related to sun damage uh, to a great degree. So those years in the sun when we weren't protecting ourselves, mm -hmm. so that actually can home, come home to roost, and that's why we see a lot of these festoons occurring. And now, are these inevitable? They, they're going to happen to everyone as we yeah. age? The, not necessarily. I mean, the festoons really have more of a genesis in sun exposure, but a lot of us, we, we thought there was such a thing as a healthy tan, but that was really mm -hmm. a, ba a bad bill of goods that we were sold when we were younger. You know, because we have a lot, had a lot of sun exposure, we do see them a lot in the world. We see a lot of people with this sort of sun damage that cause festoons. Do festoons, obviously, they just don't go away by themselves. Correct, yeah. Unfortunately, once the damage is done, it kind of stays there. And interestingly, certain days, they might be worse or better. And usually in the morning, they're worse. And then depending on what we're eating, sometimes they can swell a little bit more. But there's always something kind of in the background with those festoons. Well, why don't you explain in a little bit more detail what your specific procedure does to help relieve that festoon area. Right, because it's sun damage that causes this, reversing the sun damage in the skin is how I'm able to make that better. And so what I do is I have lasers that I use, and I will actually use the laser and I'll damage the skin a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the body has amazing abilities to heal itself. So when the body heals itself after this damage, it regrows the skin all over again from the bottom up. It's sort of like a reset button and it basically creates new skin. And I've heard you say uh, in some of your videos on your website that it's almost like making it like baby skin again. Yeah, when it's amazing because actually when people have it done, the skin goes through different changes. I mean, initially it is brand new. It's very sensitive. You know, there's sometimes you can have a little bit of flakiness to the skin for the first couple weeks afterwards. And it goes through that sort of process. But years later, that turns out to be some of the youngest skin in the body. And how long are the results, uh, how long do they last? Are if, they forever? Yeah, if people are careful in the sun, and so my, my advice to people is, okay, once this is done, you're gonna wear sunblock every day, mm -hmm. like you brush your teeth. I mean, I have kids, and they put on sunscreen before they go out every day. And even if, just to go to school or I'm saying going out, out to the store? I'm saying go out, you know, things, we have to make things a habit, right? Like we brush our teeth, that's a habit. Yes. So if we get in the habit of wearing sunscreen, even going to the mailbox, right? Mm -hmm. We don't realize most sun damage happens from incidental exposure. It's these 20 second periods that you're going out to the car, you're going to, um, going from your car to a business. Over a lifetime, those 20 second periods actually add up. It's not the, it's not great when we were young laying out in the sun, but even today, it's the best thing we can do for us is to wear sunblock every day and all exposed parts of, this, of the body. With your specific treatment, how long does it take to complete? So the procedure itself, um, honestly, festoons alone is maybe about a 10 minute procedure. Mm -hmm. Usually I combine it with other procedures around the, around the face, but it itself is maybe seven to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes seven to 10 minutes to perform the procedure. It does take about two weeks to heal the wound afterwards, but um, it's not a long procedure. Uh, I'm excited that now I'm using this actually to reverse sun damage in a lot of patients. Let's get into that actually, because you were showing us some photos uh, before we got started here, what is that laser treatment and, and what is it called and how does that work? Yeah, I call this my reset procedure for sun damage. And what I do, I use um, something called an erbium laser. Uh, from a technical basis, it's a dual pulsed erbium laser that allows me to get to deep levels in the skin. I can see the skin lesions, I can remove them. Mm -hmm. And then the body has its ability to regenerate itself all over again. So they regrow their skin from the bottom up again without all that old damage. And that's brand new skin that's there. And so this is amazing because I've used it on the whole face. And I, I can remove years and years of sun damage that people have caused. And actually they can live their, their life again with healthier skin. 
And uh, we were seeing some before and afters as well. And especially with the sunspots, especially here in Florida. Drastic change. Yeah, I mean, one of them that you showed us, it almost looked like the woman's granddaughter. <laughs> That's right. And I, I told you, actually, what happened is a couple years ago, I was doing a procedure on a woman. I did surgery on her upper lids and her lower lids, and I helped improve the skin of the lower lid area. She came back two years later, and she was erupting in skin lesions all over her face, um, except for these two areas underneath the eyes that I had treated two years prior. Mm. That's taught me something because really my patients do become my teachers, you know, uh, later on. And so I said, wow, not only was I making the skin look better, but I actually made it fundamentally healthier. From that point, then I started to uh, develop this procedure more for sun damage in general. Okay. And speaking of the festoons, what is the pain level for someone who's undergoing this? Because uh, I'm sure we're going to roll some footage <laughs> of it as well. It looks like it could hurt. I mean, there's a laser going into the layers of your skin. It looks right. painful. Right, and you're right. If there was no anesthesia, it would be uncomfortable, but I care <laughs> about my patients, so I'm always putting appropriate anesthesia. Dr. Shiner, if somebody undergoes these procedures and they needed to return to work, is it going to be something that everyone's going to notice? Yeah, the initial recovery is about two, two and a half weeks. Interestingly, I had a woman recently, she's 80 years old, um, I treated her entire face. She had a lot of sun damage. She healed her entire face in eight days. Mm. On day 10, she was on a cruise with her 20 year younger boyfriend on a cruise. Nice. So, well, I will tell you, it ranges. Some people right. can heal seven days, some people are 14, and then there is pinkness, so people have to wear makeup afterwards. But yeah. usually it's between, most people are between 10 to 14 days. Well, Dr. Shiner, why don't you explain for people what I guess any sort of plastic surgery for the eyelids was before your procedure. Yeah, what most people did actually is they had lower lid bags and they would have them addressed. Sometimes they were uh, relocated, you know, somewhere deeper on the cheek, sometimes they were removed. But they, there wasn't really a good option for festoons. I mean, really, if you look on, on the internet, people were, and other surgeons would say, I'm sorry, there's no treatment for those. They were known as festoons or malar mounds. And most people thought there was no option for it. One thing people have tried is they've tried to put a, um, a cut on the skin to cut out the festoon. I don't love that because it leaves a scar that's visible on the cheek. I like the technique I'm doing better because I can get the skin to come back tighter afterwards and healthier as we talked about. Thank you for sharing your time with us, Dr. Shiner. Um, your results are absolutely incredible. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for you guys for, for coming here and for, for the opportunity to speak with all your viewers. <laughs> well, again, uh, that's Dr. Adam Shiner, renowned eyelid and facial plastic surgeon here in Tampa.